Hi there, and welcome back for episode 17 of Lounge Talk with Laz. In this week's episode, I'll be discussing my social media content calendar and how I create content on a weekly basis. Let's just jump right into it. So I often get questions on how I come up with so much content throughout the week, especially working at General Motors with a full-time job. I figured that the podcast format would be a great way to kind of share my insights as to how I come up with so much content throughout the week and my process for distributing it on social media. First, I want to start off with what my week kind of looks like from the weekdays during work to the weekends. During the week, I will take a look through all of my social media platforms, and the goal for Monday through Friday is to connect and engage with my audiences as much as possible. And by doing that, I often come across various topic ideas or articles or posts that kind of pique my interest, and I keep those on the back burner for potential blog post ideas for the weekend. Alongside aggregate content, I usually have an idea of what I want to write about based on what I'm doing at work or various issues or topics or things that I'm doing from my own branding perspective, whether on social media, digital marketing, website optimization, that sort of stuff. My content mix for Laz's Lounge comes in the form of one podcast episode every week, one photo challenge each week uh, at the beginning of the week, a actual blog post in long form, and that can take the guise of social media or digital marketing or even graphic design, depending on what I am interested in writing about that week. And I also plan on starting a weekly vlog as another form of video content. Here and there, I will write more short form pieces in the form of product reviews or just really quick tips that are really easy to consume and break up the pacing for the week with my content mix. But the biggest goal for the first five days of the week is to come up with those ideas and kind of place them in various buckets depending on how I want to create and distribute, depending on the medium, whether it's an audio file or a actual video or just written content. Once I have an idea of what I want to discuss for the upcoming week, and I have maybe five to ten ideas for topics, then the weekend is entirely devoted to content creation. I'll typically try to create content after I get off work on Friday, but this usually doesn't happen because I'm so burnt out from the week. I just want to take the time to kind of unwind and relax on Friday. So Saturdays are primarily devoted to making the content and writing and recording audio and doing editing behind the scenes. I'll get a bulk of the content done on Saturdays, but it's never likely that I get everything done. So any of the remainders or leftovers that I have will kind of eke out into Sunday morning and I'll sit down right when I get up and I'll take an extra two to three hours out of my day to finish up making my content. Once I have everything written and recorded, Sundays are primarily devoted to doing all of the editing for the audio and the video that I do or the photo challenges, and then I will upload them onto my website, perform all of the search engine optimization techniques in terms of researching for keywords, doing backlinks to other websites, internal linking to other articles that are relevant on my website, that sort of thing. Once everything is uploaded onto my website on the back end as drafts, then I will go into Canva and create short little photos for the SEO with alt tags and all descriptions and meta descriptions and all that stuff. And it also serves as a, another way to repurpose my content so I can share it on social media for the upcoming week. Recently, in terms of repurposing content, my main focus is to create those long-form pieces and then repurpose them in other mediums. So, for example, with those photos that I create for the posts, then I will reshare them on my social media throughout the week. Lately, I have been creating tip videos on my YouTube channel, and it's really simple to do that considering I have everything written out in the form of a blog post. So it's just a matter of setting up my recording equipment and recording and doing a little bit of uh, light editing before uploading onto YouTube. 
Once I have my repurposed content all set up and ready to go and my blog post uploaded, then I will spend Sunday evening or Monday morning setting up my social media calendar to share all of that content throughout the week. That way I'm not super involved throughout the week. I can spend that time engaging with my audiences on social media and garnering more of a following or more engagement. And it's very time consuming and tedious to upload content or share content on a day to day basis, especially as I am sharing content as much as three times a day on Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, that sort of stuff. And I also have automation systems set up. So when I post on one platform, it will post to another platform. I think I talked about this in previous other blog posts with the automation system called If This Then That. And I have it so my Facebook, when I upload, will share out to Twitter. My Instagram will share out to Pinterest. And you can do pretty much any kind of recipe or any kind of automation funnel. You just have to find the right recipe and uh, just get that going. Recently, I read a blog post from Gary Vaynerchuk on how he has his content model set up. And the way he does it is his team takes a center piece of content or a uh, long form of content like a podcast or a uh, vlog or video, and they will repurpose the hell out of it. So they will first take that um, initial video or the initial long piece um, and basically just turn it into micro content. And this can take the form of short form pieces uh, like memes, quotes, stories, small posts. And I've noticed that he will take snippets of his long form videos, turn them into 30 second clips. And then after that's all set up, redistribute them across social media. His team will first try to direct readers and his audience to looking at that long form video and then entice them to leave comments with their favorite moments or pieces with timestamps to make it easier to sift through that content, see what resonates with the majority of the audience, and then turn that into 30 second pieces to, again, redistribute with like captions and things like that on Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and LinkedIn and what have you. You could say that my content metal is kind of similar to Gary Vaynerchuk's, but I focus on turning long form content into repurposed material that I spread on social media, whereas he focuses on one keynote piece and then uses that as the focal point to turn it into podcasts or quotes or short, super short videos on social. And I'm kind of leaning toward turning my content model into something similar to Gary V's. For example, with my podcasts, I think it'd be a great idea to start taking small 30 second snippets, cutting those out, adding captions, because obviously a lot of social media users will watch videos without audio and then uploading those onto my social media platforms for distribution throughout the week. My repurposed photos that I have on my blog posts are typically just snippets of what I've already written to just kind of increase the amount of time spent on the post for, you know, SEO purposes. And then I repurpose those already. So that's all golden and fine and dandy there. And then I even go as far as turning my blog posts into more video content, just because video tends to see the most engagement with readers. And again, it's another way to increase the amount of time spent on the site as people will click on your video and just kind of watch through it and then continue to read the rest of your post. And it also serves, again, as another medium of content that you can distribute and appeal to a wider range of readers or users on social media. Going more in depth regarding what I do on social media and how frequently I post, I will typically post on Facebook two to three times a day, Monday through Friday. On Instagram, I post about three times a day. On LinkedIn, I try to keep it a little bit less with maybe one to two posts. And then with Twitter, I try to tweet 10 to 15 times a day. And using that automation system makes that a lot easier than trying to schedule individual tweets, 
you know, it, it would end up being maybe 75 to 100 tweets a week that I would have to schedule. And that's just too much. And that's a huge time investment. So having that automation system in place is very helpful for saving all that time. And then typically I will post during the afternoons. So on Facebook, for example, I will post at four o'clock in the afternoon and seven o'clock. On Instagram, I post 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. On Twitter, it's usually hourly. And then LinkedIn is 8 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock at night, just because that's when most people get off of work and are browsing through. So it's the best way to capture that audience in that segment. And as I've explained in various posts and podcast episodes, each social media platform is different in the way that you want to tackle your engagement with your uh, following. So on Facebook, I try to limit my characters for my captions to 140 to 280 characters, just keep it very short and concise. Twitter, I found that just retitling your uh, post in your tweet garners the most engagement for some odd reason, and then I'll try to use two relevant hashtags to get as much um, impressions or reach as possible. Instagram, I will load up my content with as many hashtags as are relevant to get the widest amount of impressions and reach and engagement. And Instagram is the only platform where I have to resize my photos to a 800 by 800 square model. And then LinkedIn, I will emulate something similar to Facebook, but I've also been including three to five relevant hashtags as LinkedIn is now using those in their platform. So why not? It helps a little bit with the reach and the impressions, not so much as Twitter, but it's still helpful. And as far as video content goes, I will try to upload native photos on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And Facebook's interesting in that if you start linking out to other websites, you will get less reach. So your content mix should be between 70% um, original posts, so to speak. And you can do 20 to 30 where it's linking out to your personal website or other websites if you're posting aggregate content. And then LinkedIn's weird where native videos don't get as much reach or impressions. And so it's better to just link them, whether you're uploading on YouTube or your website, as those will garner more impressions and reach than if you were to just upload natively, which is just it's strange in my opinion, but whatever. Beyond my content mix that I come up with, for social media, I have new plans in how I'm going to distribute content. My idea is based on what I saw with Gary Vaynerchuk's content model is to do one short video per week, or not per week, but actually per day, Monday through Friday. I'm going to continue uploading those uh, quote photo snippets that I have been, and that will be once per day. And then I will continue uploading my content and sharing that once per day. And I'm not sure where I'm going to sit with the tip videos that I have or the uh, vlogging that I'm going to do. So I don't want to oversaturate my users' news feeds by posting way too frequently. I think about three times a day, barring Twitter, is enough without making them want to unlike or unfollow you. But... I guess I'll have to see where that goes, or maybe I can extend the tip videos to start posting on the weekends too. I've noticed that my page views on the weekend tend to dip, unless people are going to be searching organically on Google during the weekends anyway. So maybe this would be a good opportunity to continue getting more engagement heading into the weekend rather than just getting a spike in traffic throughout the week. So that's my content model in a nutshell. Hopefully you found this insightful or helpful in planning your own social media strategy or content curation strategy. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time for another latest and greatest episode of Digital Marketing and Social Media News.